All right, chat. Welcome to A2 of the PS4 bracket. We are spectating next level. We saw a little bit of them in the last tournament, but this is a mostly new roster. Now, Zevo is a layover from Xbox, so he will be playing on, uh, as you can see, he's level 32. Donut also almost Gen 4. They are Xbox players. And then Lego, of course, one of the best PS4 players uh, currently playing the game right now. Um, Lego's got probably some of the best aim of anybody we've seen off of this tourney. Um, and, you know, Donut and Zevo are just... We've seen great things from Zevo, and I'm th pretty sure we're going to see great things from Donut. We see a quick kill on death. Uh, get that, he gets that quick mark. He's already up to three kills, which is crazy. Uh, Death does manage to get a, pick up a kill on Donut. You know, this isn't quite as explosive as what we've seen from, uh, Next Level in the past. This is Next Level, by the way. I want to know that Gods has a similar lineup in the fact that it has LSDS, but... It's not technically TM Alliance. This is actually next level again. So maybe they can win this one, this tourney for even more money than if they had won the Xbox tourney. They're already two to zero, so they're off to a fantastic start. How was A1? It didn't happen because BFB was a no-show. They said they woke up late. I don't know how you wake up later than one. Um, I want to see the whole screen. My bad. Yeah. Um, but so, you know, we're seeing Donut just kind of play farther back. We're, Zevo's trying to hit some charge shots. He's not super succeeding, really. And then Lego's trying to be a little bit more clandestine about it, trying to pick up some of those sneaky kills. He gets it on death. You can see a little bit of that great aim by Lego. Lego has obviously seems to have brought his A game. He's six kills in, more than double what anybody else has. Uh, actually, more than the entirety of of uh gods combined so you know this is looking very good for next level we've seen that uh you know gods can come back from deficits like this they did it last time they couldn't win their xbox match but maybe they can win the ps4 one wouldn't that be so so hyped anyway four to zero you know uh both teams have their titans down you know LSDS is actually doing a great job of slaying out at this point. He just got a ton of kills. Uh, we see Lego moving into this Legion. He is a good Legion player. He's going to be able to control mid. He's going to be able to go after um, any pilot marks. But, you know, it's Legion doesn't have a lot of great uh, tight matchups. Now, Legion versus Legion, this is really going to be an interesting thing because LSDS is a Titan player, but uh, Legion is one of uh, Lego's main Titans. So, you know, both have time on this Titan. Both are pretty good at it. As you can see, Lego picking up that quick kill. It's 42 now, though. LSDS doing a fantastic job of supporting his team right now. Honestly, right now, he is all-starring this. Um, like, you know, you, you have what seems like a really solid team versus this versus LSDS, who is for sure right now the MVP of this match uh, by most estimates. Though, to be fair, Lego also has about nine kills. So, we see Donut trying to get Death out, but he's largely unsuccessful. He gets a couple of shots off. We're waiting on Zevo to respawn. Um, this is kind of a stalemate because both are in their Titans. Really, this is going to be about which team is better without their star players. And I think, honestly, the answer here is probably going to be next level. Uh, you know, like, we saw a lot We saw a lot of good things from LS... Oh, LSDS is actually on the ground. Oh, that's right. My bad. Uh, so, you know... The really important thing here is just going to be how can these teams impact the opponent's team's titans. I think um, it's actually safer for members only to fight Death than it is for gods to fight Lego. Because Death isn't an ion, and inherently it's going to be a little bit easier to kill uh, with a charge rifle than a legion. Because also, legion can keep its shields up for a little bit longer, uh, but it does have... But Ion does have those laser shots, and it's getting those quick kills at a longer range. But, you know, if you approach Lego, like, I like that Lego's playing in this little enclave where you can't really get an angle on him without getting into power shot range, and then, of course, you're just dead. Um, so I think really good plays by both teams here right now. I think 
it's good that we've seen TM get these two kills. Uh, but we also saw from Next Level that they like playing a little bit slower. They, they you know, excel at that kind of slow pace of play. I think that's... That's exactly what they should be doing. They got to the finals. They almost won the finals last time. They've already beaten this team once. I think they can do it again if they just keep to what they know, try to m remain consistent, don't... Like, I know I know we always say it, and I know it's like a stupid thing in commentary to say don't get overconfident. I know it's like, oh, well, of course they were not going to get overconfident. They got overconfident against TM already, and that almost cost them that game. They were good for so much of the match, and then they just weren't. Now, interestingly, everybody's out of their Titans, but uh, it did actually allow Zevo to pick up a mark kill. We're looking at Lego trying to get tower control, but, you know, none of these players are really charge rifle players by nature. They're just charge rifle players because they all play comp. So, you know, their charge rifle accuracy is never particularly amazing. And, like, holding that really long range with the car wasn't really the best place for Lego to be. But he does pick up a nice charge rifle kill on LSDS. Um... We see Lego, he's not using his stim, he's trying to just conserve it, he's trying to use it probably for strafing so that he can for sure pick up a kill or two, just so that in a 2v1 he can be a little bit, uh, a little bit better, a little bit more combat savvy. Here he'll probably, yeah, he's using it just to like track Mr. G better, and that was an amazing looking kill by, by Lego on Mr. G. Um, and yeah, we have... Donut, again, kind of moving back. He doesn't really... He'll... Sa I think it's interesting that they're sacrificing visibility for the sake of being really far away. And then we see kind of Zebo moving back tactically. They they know that they as long as they can, you know, just stay with... Um, he's got his core. But, like, they really know that as long as they can just stay with Donut, uh, that they're in a pretty good spot. And we see Lego dropping... Oh, we see... Donut dropping, actually. Also, glancing at the kills here, again, what we're really seeing is LSDS performing well. He performed well in both tournaments. Uh, so far, he's doing a really good job on kills. He's doing a good job in Titan control. He's doing all the right moves. But really, what we are kind of seeing is, like, the rest of Gods is kind of lagging behind, and they're not having the kind of game impact that, like, both teammates need to be having. If it was maybe just one teammate was only stuck at five kills, that would be one thing. But this match is halfway through, and, you know... Uh, like, next level is just out killing gods right now, and I think that's a large portion of just, neither of these teams was like members only, they're not hard focusing marks, they're not doing those kinds of things, and if they're, if you're not hard focusing marks, then you have to be winning in kills, and, you know, next level is winning in kills, and so, also do want to give a quick shout out, congratulations again to everybody from the Xbox community, congratulations to, uh, members only for winning, and congratulations to everybody else for participating, and I think you all did amazing. Also, twitch.tv slash impatientking was the best team there. No cap. It's 7-2 at this point. You know, I think there's a lot... I think there's a lot to be said here, but... Or there's not a lot to be said here. I think it's really just like, you know... Uh, like we were talking about, you know, it's like how is experience going to help each of these teams? And it really seems to be helping uh, Zevo really a lot more than it's helping LSDS. Because Zevo is, you know, obviously passing good information back to Donut, back to Lego. You know, neither of them has experience fighting LSDS. But, you know, he does and he's doing a good job of relaying that back. And he's, he's just doing a good job of making sure that, like... You know, they've fought each other, and he's getting more out of the fact that they've fought each other than Gods is. And I think that's a really important piece of, like, little uh, skill-based calculus that you really have to be thinking about. Is, like, when it's a rematch like this, and especially when it's, like, a grudgy rematch, uh, it's, like... Again, we've seen LSDS pull things back from farther. You know, they were at, like, 12-3, and 3 and they turned it to 12-11. and 11, But 8-2 and 2 is still a pretty iffy place. G Gooses Zevo gets that third uh, mark kill, I believe. G doing a good job of getting mark kills, but not being a huge slayer particularly. Honestly, we might just chalk that up more to random chance than anything. LSDS trying to get Zevo. Gets Zevo. 
This is a mild momentum shift. There, we don't see any real Titans on next level. Uh, it's 8 and 4. This is kind of a momentum shift. This is something we saw last game too. It, LSDS is good at like shifting the momentum back into his favor. He's good at, you know, making the most of kind of a small advantage, even against a team that is, you know, as insane as next level. We saw how well Zevo performs, and, you know, if you're on PS4, you've seen how well LEGO's performed um, in other tournaments. You Right now, we're also seeing pretty well how Donut performs. You know, Donut, you know, not the kill leader, certainly, but, like, certainly pulling his weight and certainly uh, being a force to be reckoned with on this enemy team. Um... He doesn't have his stim, which is very unfortunate. He's just having to kind of mildly slide hop. There's a Titan above him. There's two players. He wasn't able to get to death in time. It was kind of a shame that he didn't have his stim there. Um, you know, I think at this point, Legos and his Legion, they've kind of lost that split moment they had of gaining momentum. It's 8 and 4. It's totally, like, comebackable. We've seen it. But, like, it's going to be much harder uh, just because, you know, everybody's got everybody else's number. And you have this team that's just so solid and so consistent. 19, 18, 16. That's, like, the most consistent uh, kill distribution we've seen in the entire tournament. Um, versus 14, 28. You know, LSDS is really having to kind of do a lot of the legwork in terms of slaying, and he and he just can't do it all himself. And I think, especially in team fights, you, you know, in like a, maybe a 2v2, it would be fine that LSDS is, you know, kind of the kill leader right now. But at the end of the day, you have to realize that when it's 3v3, like one good player just can't do everything for the team. And unless Mr. G and Death can really, really start uh, doing some better plays, it's going to be very hard for them to make any significant headway. We see them all kind of trying to kill somebody in that building. Zevo kind of gives up on that. He goes after Mr. G, but he gets killed. At this point, Lego has to go up. Luckily, their Titan isn't down yet, so they couldn't really... Okay, this is the first time we've seen rodeoing, oh, but we didn't. I don't think rodeoing is a bad plan, especially if your enemy team... Or if your teammate is a tone. Dropping a particle wall, it's, it's very hard to shoot somebody on top of a tone. While they have a particle wall down, it's a very safe play. Again, they're using this back house. This is the house that we saw Zevo use multiple times. Uh, we saw him use it in the finals, and then we saw him use it, I believe, fighting twitch.tv slash Impatient King. Um, so, you know, we have those. They have that strat. They have that back house strat. It's worked well for them. It gives them a lot of visibility. I would honestly say that, like, LSDS, like, they should all consider using that house and take it from them because that is a nice staging ground to get one or two marks it's eight and five you know again it's all about like zevo's in that titan he's back towards that house it's a very defensible position he has cover but he's also pretty open if he needs to move he's he's not far from other pieces of cover he you know he's a he's a dash and a half away uh really like ooh, i wouldn't recommend using archer here the issue with archer is you're just Nobody, no, nothing's getting by these players really at the end of the day and you know that archer is just going to come right back at you so it'll never really do you any good uh, Zevo does have to go up he hopefully doesn't get goosed we haven't seen quite as much goosing from the PS4 side of things that we saw on Xbox but I actually think the aiming is like the tracking has been looking really clean uh, by next level Um, we see Lego get taken down by Mr. G. Again, I just want to comment on this kill distribution. 24, 24, and 23. That is crazy. That is just the sign that this team is in sync. This team is consistent. And I think that's really like what's so good in a mode where it's all about not being at a deficit when one person gets chosen to be the mark. If you have a weakest link in this mode, that person's going to die every time they're the mark. And that's really bad for your team. Now, 23 seconds on the clock. 
Eight and six. Again, LSDS great at helping his team kind of get back from being desolate, but at the end of the day, it just doesn't seem possible that he'll be able to, you know, pick up any more marks. I think this is the end of the match. And it's nine and six, so yes, that is that is the end of this match.